SpongeBob SquarePants. More like SpongeBob Poopy Pants. Oh my god, this show sucks. This show is about five characters, and they like to go on failure adventures. SpongeBob is a crybaby. He cried when Patrick took away Gary, which reminds me of when my mom died. Patrick has been shown in some episodes to have a tantrum. In the episode Valentine's Day, where SpongeBob and Sandy try to give Patrick a Valentine's Day, gift. Patrick tries to completely destroy things in the bikini bottom. He is also a toddler version of Bugs Bunny. I also cannot believe I added him in the Beach Ball Quadrio in 2021. Thank God he got replaced with Snagglepuss in that group during Pinkie Pie, the movie. He is the worst character ever. Sandy Cheeks is the second worst character. In the episode Survival of the Idiots, Sandy starts out as a giant version of the character named Dirty. He wakes up on holiday and got extremely angry when he woke up. And lost all of his fur when he calmed down, as seen in this picture. Creepy, right? He is also a toddler version of Yakko from Animania. Squidward is a toddler version of Daffy Duck, while SpongeBob is a toddler version of Gumball Watterson from The Amazing World of Gumball. And nobody gives a crap about Mr. Krabs, not two or three either, not even four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten either, not even twenty-two. You can tell that nobody gives a crap about Mr. Krabs because he is not in this picture. Oh. Did I forget to mention that Spongebob has a stupid toy ball, which holds his desk. Beach balls don't hold desks. Isn't that stupid? My sincere apologies have to go to Max Shrek and Tom Kenny who had to appear in this abomination. He also had a stupid app called Spongebob's Game Frenzy. Spongebob's Game Frenzy. No, more like Spongebob's Blame Popularity. This game sucks. He also had three movies, which were the Spongebob Squarepants movie, the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water, and the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run, which are bad enough. And now there's going to be a fourth Spongebob movie this year, which is Saving Bikini Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie, which is going to be worse than the first three movies. This movie better not be released, or else I will be so angry that Nickelodeon did this. I hope the home video releases of these movies get discontinued along with the home video releases of the show. This show is a huge ripoff to The Little Mermaid, one of my favorite Disney movies. The animation is horrible, the songs are pointless, the theme song is annoying and the characters like to smoke pot, go to school naked when it is time for school to begin, and wear diapers as their underwear. It's not cancelled yet. But thank God the show made its last episode in 2004. I hope it gets removed from Nickelodeon and Nicktoons in the United States weeks after the season 14 finale. However, many people don't care about me hating SpongeBob SquarePants, but I wish this show got canceled for good. Do you know who likes this show? Billy and Nestor from Colors 358. Everyone else in both of those series hate that show because of accidental innuendos from the memes from SpongeBob show. And do you know who hates this show? Me. I am the only known good person that hates this show. This was my favorite show by the end of July 2015. But then on August 12, 2015, I started talking about hating it until September 12. 2023. I also forgot to mention that the current Nickelodeon Movies logo has Spongebob in it. I hope Nickelodeon Movies never releases the rest of the Spongebob Movies at all. And I hope Nickelodeon Movies changes their logo next year. Spongebob sucks, and so does My Little Pony, Tell Your Tale. All versions of Looney Tunes are a million times better than Spongebob Squarepants. End of rant. Next rant. Bubble Guppies.